Lesson 14, polynomials, roots and coefficients. Here's a theory for the cubic equation. Now, if ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals naught, and alpha, beta and gamma are the roots of this equation, then alpha plus beta plus gamma is minus b on a. Alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma is c on a. And alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d on a. And we'll set out to prove that. Now we'll prove this in a similar way we did for the quadratic. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll take that first one, we'll divide through by a, and we get that's equal to x cubed plus b on a x squared plus c on a x plus d on a equals zero. Now because alpha and beta and gamma are the roots, we can write this equation in the form x minus alpha times x minus beta times x minus gamma equals naught. Now we just got to expand that out. I'll take this one first. So this one's going to be x squared minus alpha x minus beta x plus alpha beta times x minus gamma equals naught. Now <coughs> we multiply this right by x. So we'll get an x cubed minus alpha x squared minus beta x squared plus alpha beta x. Now multiplying throughout by minus gamma, we get minus x squared gamma plus alpha gamma x plus beta gamma x minus alpha beta gamma equals naught. Now collecting like terms we get x cubed minus, now taking all these I'll just highlight this in a different colour, take that one there, that one there, and that one there, okay that will be alpha plus beta plus gamma x squared plus, now we'll take a different colour here, we'll take this one, take this one, take this one, right, and that becomes alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma x and then finally minus alpha beta gamma equals zero. Now what we can do now is we can see this is the, the coefficient of x squared is <coughs> excuse me b on a so we can say therefore alpha plus beta plus gamma equals the minus sign makes it minus b on a and we can see that here that alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma is equal to the c on a and of course finally alpha beta gamma equals minus d on a. Another way of writing this uh, particularly when we go on to the uh, power 4 ones rather than Writing it that way, you can write out as this notation. We could write it as sigma alpha equals minus b on a. And this one is sigma alpha beta equals c on a. Just save your writing out each time, that's all. And of course, you wouldn't worry about that. You just write alpha beta gamma equals minus d on a. Lesson 14, polynomials, roots and coefficients. Example 14, if alpha and beta and gamma are the roots of x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 2 equals naught, find the value of alpha plus beta plus gamma, alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma, alpha beta gamma, and then finally alpha minus 1 times beta minus 1 times gamma minus 1. And what we'll do, we'll look at the coefficients of each of these. We can write down that a must equal 1, 
B is equal to 1, C is equal to negative 1, and D is equal to 2. Now, this one here, that's minus B on A, which equals minus 1 on 1, which is minus 1. This one here is C on A, which is minus 1 on 1, again minus 1. And finally, alpha, beta, gamma is equal to minus D on A, which is minus 2 on 1, or minus 2. Now this one, removing the brackets, we'll have the expression is equal to alpha beta minus alpha minus beta plus 1 times gamma minus 1. Multiplying first by the gamma, we get alpha beta gamma. minus alpha gamma minus beta gamma plus gamma and then by the minus one minus alpha beta plus alpha plus beta minus one and click that by like terms we get minus alpha gamma plus beta gamma plus alpha beta and plus alpha plus beta plus gamma minus 1. And then subjecting these values in, alpha beta gamma is minus 2, minus, and this one here is minus 1, plus, this one here is minus 1, minus 1, which gives me minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and of course that gives me the result of minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 is minus 3